Hi, how are you today? Um, I'm making cheeseburger soup, um, chowder, whatever, I think soup. It's a thicker soup, okay, whatever you call it. But I just want to show you how I make it. Um, I love it. A lot of people that I've known that tried it love it too. So what I did is I just went and prepped my vegetables. Um, it's probably only about 3 o'clock here uh, right now. So I'll probably wait until later to start this. But I like to start with my Dutch oven. Um, I love these so much. You can also probably put it in a crock pot. But, um, and what I did here, okay, I got to put my carrots, got some onions, I have some sweet potato and I have some regular potato and then I have some celery down here. And all that stuff I, um, that take longer to cook than potatoes, I um, chopped up smaller. Cover all the stuff. So when I water, put some bouillon cubes in there. Also probably, uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, but I'm probably gonna add a beefy onion Lipton soup mixture um just to give it a little bit more beefy flavor and do some ground beef and all that stuff so i thought i would take you along on my journey i hope i can get this all through because uh, usually when i start a video i don't ever get to finish because of life so let's try this all right so we'll catch you back later also when you're all said and done watching this video i will post uh, the recipe down in the description or up in the description um, on my blog, the mjblog.com, and then there is a tab for recipes there. So um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. If you like uh, this video or other similar videos that I post, uh, go ahead and click that follow button um, just so you make sure that you don't miss any of my content again. And I'm so happy to have you here. Um, and yeah. We'll see you later. Hope you enjoy. Try it out. Let me know if you try it out, okay? All right. I'm not the best videographer here, but uh, just I covered this all up with water. We're going to go ahead and add that beefy onion Lipton soup mix, and then I'm going to go get some bouillon cubes to put in here as well. All right, so I got my cubies, and I am literally just going to, like, mush them up in the air. They'll dissolve on their own once they're hot and getting boiled up. Usually I do um, my hamburg and my onions and celery like all in one together sauteed in my Dutch oven. But because I was prepping early, I just cut everything up and just am boiling it. But I'm doing my I'm doing my um, hamburg in there now in my pan now. And then I'm gonna put it into the soup and add all my other stuff. Okay. When you're a mom and busy, you just do what you can do when you can do it. Am I right? So while we're waiting for that all to cook, I'm going to prepare um, this little mixture here with some cornstarch, or you can use flour or whatever, but equal parts of water and cornstarch or flour. We're going to mix it up, and this is what's going to give your stew or soup a stewy finish, like thicken it up a little bit. Um, and I really recommend mixing it with a liquid before you put it in the soup because otherwise you're going to get some like chunky flour or cornstarch in your soup and you don't want that. So now that your uh, veggies are boiling, you're going to let that boil until everything is nice and soft. It smells so good. All right. We are done. This is what it'll look like. I added the cheese, I added the cream, and I always add a cream, a can of creamy mushroom soup. I don't know, it just tastes so good. But if you try the recipe, let me know. I'd be happy to hear what you think. And uh, have a good night.